Once uh, the hatches are closed on both sides of the docking interface, here comes Whitson for uh, final uh, farewells, final hugs, as she departs the space station 288 days into this mission. Fyodor Yurchikin uh, patting the hatchway, as if to say, attaboy. Again, uh, the departing crew now back inside the Soyuz MS-04. They'll close the hatch on their side of the docking interface. The same will be done on the Poisk module side of the docking interface. Then leak checks will be conducted uh, for a period of about an hour or so to make sure that we have uh, an airtight seal uh, between the two spacecraft before the depressurization of the small passageway between Poisk and the Soyuz spacecraft. The uh, departing crew will don their Russian Sokol launch and entry suits and conduct uh, systems checks and communications checks on those suits. And the Soyuz hatch closed at uh, 1.41 p.m. Central Time. So Whitson, Fisher, and your chicken now uh, ensconced inside the uh, Soyuz MS-04 spacecraft will stand by for the closure of the Poisk module hatch. And the Poisk module hatch closed at 1.43 p.m. 
So the hatches are now closed uh, between the International Space Station and the Soyuz MSO-4 spacecraft, setting the stage for the undocking of the Soyuz to start the journey home for Peggy Whitson, Jack Fisher, and Fyodor Yurchikin. The uh, undocking scheduled about three hours and 14 minutes from now at uh, 4.58 p.m. Central Time, 5.58 p.m. Eastern Time. There is uh, Sergei Rozansky in the middle of your screen as he uh, ensured uh, the hatch closure on the Poisk module side of the docking interface uh, to the Soyuz MSO-4. Randy Bresnik uh, with his back uh, to the camera and Paolo Nespoli with the video camera on the left side of your screen taking uh, imagery of uh, this first stage of the uh, departure of the Expedition 52 crew from the International Space Station.